Good morning, uh, I'm Dr. Mustafa Kaba. I'm the Deputy Chief Medical Officer, Clinical Services, Ministry of Health and Sanitation. Why are we here this morning? Well, we are here again to see that the buses, the hospital on wheels, uh, go out into the underprivileged areas of this country to provide free medical services to the people of Sierra Leone. Basically, where are they heading for? Well, this time around they are heading for uh, Kabala, Koinadugu district. And then they will be at uh, Moyamba. And they will be spending almost a week. And we are sending to each of these locations two buses. This uh, kind of mission has been ongoing. We've gone to Kenima, we've done Cambia, we've done uh, Bo, uh, we've done Potloko. And uh, this is something that will reach all the people of this country, especially those underprivileged communities, to access uh, facilities on these buses, like laboratory facilities, um, free drugs that will be given. We are checking for hypertension, diabetes, free screening of pregnant women, and so many other facilities that are afforded in these buses. These are highly specialized hospitals on wheels. And added to this medical care we are providing, there is a vaccination program coupled to these buses. So there will be vaccines available for every Sierra Leonean to be vaccinated for COVID-19, for example. We are also doing the HPV vaccination and all other relevant vaccines can be accessed through these buses. All right, let me bring in Doctor. Um, doctor, you are leading this um, team to the provinces. How prepared are you? I feel very prepared and first I want to thank my wonderful team here. We have a group of nurses and doctors um, and then we have lab um, scientists and lab um, technicians um, accompanying us on this trip. Um, we have everything we need. We have the reagents to do kidney function, liver function tests, check people's cholesterol and much, much more. So I feel ready, very ready and prepared. And our team over there, whom we're working with, stakeholders like um, DMOs from DHMTs, Paramount chiefs, um, religious leaders, they're all very excited and looking forward to welcoming us. What's the target for this trip? I mean, how many patients are you, or will you be treating? So, like, for the, like, we expect the turnout to be the same, maybe greater. <laughs> because the kind of ex excitement and mobilization that has been happening. But on average, when we go for this trip, we see about 4,000 patients. If we do like um, four days or so, for the seven days period, uh, over 7,000 patients that we see. And by the way, I should include that uh, we see everyone, even a child that's born today, we see everyone and all cases are seen. The only thing we don't do is surgery. So we identify emergencies and we coordinate the referral of these emergencies. Surgical cases are identified as one and we coordinate the referral as well. What's different from the other trips you've been making? What well, different is this trip from the other trips you've been making? Not much, much different, but the only thing, the only um, highlight is that um, when we, we will be in Koinadugo district, um, the president will be there. So we're looking forward for him to actually have a first-hand experience of um, how people actually utilize the service. So that will be a lot different this time, but we are excited. Your message to viewers? My message to viewers, um, this service is there for us. Um, this innovative um, service that's been brought by the pre by this president and his government um, is here to basically change our healthcare system. And um, we want to make sure that no one is left behind, every Sierra Leonean regardless of where they are, have access to the highest quality and affordable health care. And by the way, every service provided by this boss, including the lab, is free. Same way, any final message for you? Well, I think um, our people should make use of this opportunity given to them by the government of Sierra Leone. It is an opportunity which doesn't come by uh, on a daily basis. So the people of uh, Konaidugu district, Moyamba district should make full opportunity, take full opportunity and come out in their numbers and really be seen by these competent health workers we are sending out to the district to make sure that their health care is well catered for. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. My Mitro. Okay, Mitro, what do you have to say? <laughs>
<laughs> well, this is a very great opportunity because the underprivileged will have the best. My name is Fere Musu, Star Fere Musu Turi. Okay. This is a very great opportunity because we are going to deliver our best, the very best, to the community. That needed the most? Yes, that needed the most service to be rendered. Thank you very much. Are you guys ready? Yes! yes. Where are you going? 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 Mina Dr. Yebu Kabo, the medical superintendent of the mobile hospitals. Take me through why we're there. Okay, so we're there just as a continued support. We're support for we don't continue for Gibi here at the mobile hospitals. Yeah, as we they get ready for left again for another um, service, primary care service for the Gogi, now for another go Dick Street as well as Moyamba. What is different from this street to others? Basically, they're the same. The street, the street is no much uh, different um, from the others. I think the only thing is that the presidents they come, you know, you get for day day, you get for day na Kabbalah specifically, outside um, they go showcase like the, the farmers and food, but also it they come for see exactly how the people um, they utilize the service where even in government don't bring come for them. Not na yasu. Well, what are the personnel them where you they take? I mean, in terms of doctors, nurses. Yeah, so they take. We have. Um, the, each boss is equipped with um, doctors and then we have CHOs as well as um, lab scientists and lab specialists and um, all staff nurses as well, right. pharmacists and um, ophthalmologists as well. The message to Fambola for the left. The message to Fambola, okay, this is a great service where this government is going to bring income for we in real. I beg you to make use of them. We they do everything, everything for free. We they check you blood pressure, we check you blood sugar if you get diabetes. We also they check you kidney, we they check your liver, we they check cholesterol and much much more. And everything we they do now for free. Una come low, una can utilize and service there as we are. Thank you very much. Can you introduce yourself to viewers? My name is Harold Thomas, Health Education Program Manager and um, lead for East Communication Ministry of Health and Sanitation. We are seeing the mobile clinics moving towards the provinces today again. Take us through exactly what's the mission. Yes, um, of course, um, we promise that um, these um, buses, the hospitals and wheels, will be going on a periodic um, basis to different districts. So this time around, they will be going to um, Koinadugu district and um, Moyamba district, um, starting from um, free and quality services, healthcare services to everybody um, within um, those communities that they will be reaching out to. Um, they would be doing screening exercises, um, laboratory um, um, tests. They would also be giving them um, COVID-19 um, vaccination and um, treatment uh, for different um, ailments. And um, above all, um, they would be there to make sure that they work with them, um, the healthcare delivery service um, staff, you know, within those um, communities so that um, when the buses would actually leave those areas, then um, the, um, um, the PHU, that is the peripheral health unit staff or the hospital staff, around those areas will actually continue with those services. And, um, you know, we are dealing with um, what we call um, the life stage approach and then um, from birth you know, from the cradle to, um, you know, to um, the grave, that is what we call, um, from since um, birth up to even if you are 100 years or so, um, we, the Ministry of Health is committed to provide, you know, services to people so that we we'll improve the quality of life of people because our primary objective in the Ministry of Health is to promote health to um, prevent illness and above all to alleviate suffering. Your call to viewers regarding this? Um, those um, that um, would be in um, the Moyamba district um, and um, the Koinadu districts, 
the buses are on their way to um, those districts today and come tomorrow Sunday they will commence um, activity. So let us make use of um, this um, great opportunity that the government of Sierra Leone and the Ministry of Health has accorded to us and let us make sure that we use the services. The services are free and then we have quality services from diagnostic you know, to um, even to um, treatment and even preventative activities like um, the COVID-19 vaccination. So um, we would actually be doing this to make sure that we improve the living um, standards of people and the health standards of people within our communities. Viewers, hope you safe don't listen within the health to be trained and don't tell we are not so the metro and self tell you say this is an opportunity for the less privileged. Let them self get this opportunity for get free medical as they say all the medicines they were they give na free and they cater for at least four thousand people per day. Me na say like Takabo. Until then, tata.